Okay, these next three options for digital field work, uh, they come with a bit of a health warning because they're about exploring different forms of identity, which basically means uh, we're requiring you to create an alternative identity online. And that's something that you need to be sensitive to because obviously when you take that alternative out identity out there, people might well respond to you on the basis that you're actually that person. And we need to be mindful of that and we need to not take too many risks. We're not trying to con people here. What we're trying to do is to see the web through fresh eyes and from a different perspective. So the anthropologist uh, Claude Levi-Strauss said that uh, looking at another culture is a bit like holding a mirror up to your own. So when you see uh, another culture doing something in a particular context, it almost forces you to reflect on, on how uh, your culture operates in that particular situation. So your culture becomes clearer to you by looking at another one. And these pieces of digital field work are designed along similar lines, but around identity. So if we go out into the open web with a different identity, perhaps we see it more clearly. Perhaps things become visible to us, which we've become normalized to when we're wandering around the web in our um, real, if you like, persona. And certainly that would be the case for me as a middle-aged white man wearing glasses, with a beard, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I see a very particular view of the web and the world. So that's one of the interesting things we can do online. We can experiment with identity, which I think uh, allows us um, some positive opportunities to perhaps broaden our horizon, perhaps see things more from the point of view of some of our students or some of the other people that we work with. And certainly uh, it's interesting to start up uh, a new uh, persona in social media from scratch and to feel what that process is like. You know, what's the platform throwing at you and why and how are you responding? Okay. So what you'll need for these pieces of field work is an email account that you haven't already signed up to things for, like a, a relatively um, unused email account so that you can start a new persona. You'll have to decide on the platform that you want to go into or platforms and how to handle that. You need to come up with a persona and, and just a very short backstory because you're going to want to role play that, that character, that person when you're out there, when you're residing online. And uh, you, you know, you need a sense of play and a sense of imagination. I mean, this is this is supposed to be um, immersive and uh, playful, but sensitive to the people that are around us. Okay, so there are um, three uh, options of field work here, and um, let me just check what they're called. So the first one is try on a new identity. Uh, and that's pretty straightforward. That is basically where you're creating an alternative persona. You're going out probably into a social media platform and just starting that persona up, you know, connecting with people, um, creating the start of a network, perhaps getting involved in some discourse, as I say, be sensitive to the people around you and just seeing how that feels when you're not yourself, okay? Not going to go into a big discussion about the nature of identity uh, here, but the fact of the matter is that this persona is going to be alternate to your own. Up to you uh, how you want to interpret that, how, how far you want to push that, how far you want to explore. So that's the first one, okay? And again, you know, think about that as you're going through it, reflect on it. Um, the second one is to fake out a social media platform. So obviously uh, all major social media platforms are essentially um, data companies. Uh, that's, that's how their business works. They trade data um, and they try to connect us as individuals to you know, products or companies or even ideas, if we're thinking politically, that we're likely to respond to in a particular way, okay? Whether we wanna buy the thing or vote for the thing, or whatever it might be. And so it's really interesting to start up a persona that's, that's perhaps quite difficult for a social media platform to interpret, an unusual persona that's certainly different from our own. And then to see how 
the platform goes about connecting us and what it throws at us and who it suggests we should follow. I think that this really makes the way that these platforms work much more visible to us, you know, in a way that perhaps we don't notice so much if the platform is, if you like doing its job accurately and making sure that the environment we're in sort of conforms to our mode of thinking and maybe even our prejudices. If we're somewhere really different, that becomes obvious, okay? Uh, a colleague of mine started a persona as a, a hundred year old woman. I think she's now 112 or something like that. It's fascinating to see how that pl platform desperately attempts to make that work. So, you know, that's an interesting idea. Just be incredibly old and, and see what happens. That's one suggestion. And then the third one is called expand your horizons. And I think this is where it becomes important that you do have an alternative identity because you won't want to be doing this with your own identity. But one of the things that people have found is that the online environment can be very polarizing. There's this idea of homophily, which is that we tend to group together with people who share our ideology, our philosophy, our mode of thinking. Uh, and so whilst in theory the online environment connects us all together, we are in these clumps or clusters or silos or groups, if you like. So the idea of this piece of field work, Expand Your Horizons, is to deliberately connect with people who don't share the same views as you, who aren't like you, all right? Uh, and to do that perhaps with an alternative identity or one that's at least distinct from the one that you want to then take through the rest of your life. Uh, and it's just interesting to see the nature of that discourse, um, the, the way people are talking, you know, whether that makes you feel comfortable or uncomfortable. But is it actually possible to kind of break down that polarization to a certain extent? I'm not telling you how to operate, uh, but as I say, that piece of field work is about very, very actively um, putting ourselves into groups which we otherwise wouldn't normally be in and seeing what happens and how that makes us feel. So at, at, just to reiterate, go careful, be sensitive about this, and I, I'd recommend mothballing these personas perhaps after the field work, okay? That's up to you. But uh, we don't necessarily want to be um, trying to maintain or create fakeness here. Um, we're just interested in it from, from really kind of a kind of anthropo anthropological point of view. As I say, this is field work.